Gianluca Tondi. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good evening from my side and from a side <laughs> of such a wonderful example of local tree. <laughs> Today, I'm going to share with you a secret, something dangerous. I'd like to make an experiment, okay, Miss, you see? Every organic substance, in particular conditions, Burns. Ah, sorry. <laughs> well, this process is called burning process. It's a combustion process. What happens in here? It's the it's a system that used from the human being since the beginning of the of the ages. And actually, what happens is nothing else than transform matter in energy. But for me that I'm chemist, that's not the, the, the major topic. So the major topic is that the carbon, which is stored in the material, will be transformed in a very harmless molecule, which is the CO2, you can recognize, carbon dioxide. And this apparently harmless molecule uh, in the 90s was discovered to be the molecule which is the major responsible for the greenhouse effect. So the increase of the temperature in our planet. But luckily for us, we have such a wonderful <laughs> tree. With the help of the sun, also in Salzburg, it can do a process which is called photosynthesis which consists in transforming the, C the CO2 into <laughs> matter, and then it delivers back oxygen, something that we know we can breathe it. Isn't it a funny story? But actually, when the sun goes down, it starts to be cold. I look at this wonderful example of oak tree, And I will shot him, <laughs> because I need is wood <laughs> <laughs> for burning, right? Not only, but he's delivering me back the CO2 at the end of his life. So this CO2 actually is not the major deal, because it's a sustainable one. It lives with the tree, so the tree breathes it and releases it back. The major problem is that in the last centuries, we have abused of this uh, fossil fuel in order to have more and more energy freely available so that the amount of CO2 that we have in the atmosphere nowadays it's much higher than it was. And that's the major causes of the greenhouse effect. So this one is our enemy. We have to fight against it, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Wonderful. <laughs> so actually, our responsibility nowadays is try to be aware of this phenomenon of uh, carbon dioxide exchange. How does the carbon go from material to, uh, to carbon dioxide? And actually, we have to be aware and take our daily decision in order to avoid too much CO2 on the atmosphere. To be green, but not only a green person, but a green scientist, we have to go through a triple E, because we not only have to encourage the usage of such a wonderful <laughs> bioresources that we have, <laughs> encourage so that we cannot, we can avoid using the fossil fuel. Then we have to extend, extend the time from which our CO2 molecule, from the beginning, uh, in the moment in the tree takes it, until the, uh, the tree releases it, it's called a cascade usage of wood. So, at first, you take my wood, build your house, as you always do it. Thank you. Then, 
after you don't need it anymore, take the wood, turn it into composites, like particle board, as you see here. It's also used for constructing. Then, as everybody knows, everyday product right in front of you, paper, right? Here you go. Thank you. And you can also use my bark, and especially some extracts from my bark called tannins. Here you go. Thank you. Take it, use it, then you can burn me. Then I will be happy. <laughs> And then we say 2E, but the third E actually is to exploit at the maximum everything that we can obtain from the tree. Especially at the University of Applied Science of Salzburg, we are specialists in uh, exploit the, these bioresources, the tannin. So what can we do indeed with tannin? You can take a normal piece of wood, then impregnate with tannin, and you're the expert, explain what changes. Definitely. You can improve the, the resistance against biological attack because the tannin are the substances which are produced by the plant already to protect itself. And therefore, when you apply some tannin in some non-durable wood species, you will obtain something which is more durable and actually looks also better, right? It's brownish. <laughs> and then... And finally, you can also polymerize the tannin with other natural substances in order to attain an organic material which is used for the insulation of our apartments. So we can save the energy of the heat by a, by a good insulation process that can be also completely natural. And as I said at the beginning, I said at the beginning, every organic thing burns, but this one with a different extent. So thank you very much for your attention and, and go, go green! green. Thank <laughs> you.